What is up, YouTube? So it's been uh, getting close to like a year and a half since our uh, last podcast. I mean, for old time's sake, welcome back to the podcast, you guys. I'm your co-host, Noah Eisenman, better known as the Slim Killer. And sitting to my left is, is Matthew James, your other co-host. Well, welcome back to the podcast. Uh, it's been a while. Matt's um, an EMT, which is might be the scariest shit on planet Earth, knowing that Matt stands between you and your maker. <laughs> I just yeah, think about fine. like the times when like someone's mom is gonna be out there that knows me and they're gonna call 911 and I'm gonna walk out and they're just gonna feel is that all Matthew the Beats? hope they had just <laughs> fly out of their body. Of their yes, body. they're gonna have no hope. <laughs> I was number two in my class, or legally an EMT in the state of California. No need to worry, I, I can do it. It just might freak you out a little bit. So Noah, I know you've been living in Florida recently. Florida gets quite the bad rap on the internet about being crazy. There's people just naked outside, you know, running through the streets, fighting crocodiles. And I heard you have a story of a very Florida-esque camping trip that you went on in Florida. And I would love to hear all about it. My biggest goal moving to Florida wasn't to become famous or anything like this. It was to just get recognition as being a Florida man. So mm. I wanted at least one story where people were like, oh my gosh, this kid's insane. Logically, that seems like the only reason you'd go. Obviously, right? So I went down to Inglewood to try and meet Danny Duncan this one day. And uh, I went to his ice cream shop, I pulled up, my car was already spray painted, I was gonna mm. have him spray paint my car and try and you know, work my way into becoming friends with Danny Duncan. Like, it's like any kid's dream, right? Sure. So I sat there with my car, I, I kind of became friends with uh, the kid that was working there. And uh, I was just like, I, I have nothing better to do. I'm just going to sit here and wait and see if Danny pulls up. So I, I sat there for like seven to eight hours and shot the shit with the, with the worker there. So it was, it was pretty Which late at night. phenomenal dedication from yeah. him watching, right? <laughs> uh, you know, the kid, he was like, hey, man, we should record tomorrow if you have time. Uh, and I was like, I, I haven't gotten really any good clips yet. I might as well stay here and record. Sure. Well, it's three hours away from my apartment. I wasn't going to drive three hours back and then three hours in the morning just to get some clips. So I was like, I need to spend the night here. So I don't want to spend any money. I drove to the beach. I parked in like a little Marriott. No, no, it was like a motel. It was like a motel parking lot. Hop like a motel, motel six, like a little two-story. Yes, yeah, it was a two-story. Totally yes, exactly. janked out motel. I parked, yeah. I parked in the parking lot, took off my clothes because it was hot as shit. Wait, you're telling me you were naked? Not parking? completely naked, oh, okay? Little, little Slim was, was hiding. I had my underwear on. <laughs> But I was sleeping in the Crown Vic, and the Crown Vic has those plastic seats, so I was like slide. It was like a slip and slide of sweat. It the Crown so Vic gross. has plastic seats. Yes, it's in the back? so gross. It's like pleather. So you were skin to skin with your car. Yes, I was getting real invested. I ended up having to put the window down because it was it was August, so it was the middle of summer, and I was sweating my ass off. Oh, I, August is in the middle of summer. Okay, well, it's apparently the hottest part of the sure, year in Florida. Hottest part of the summer, it's, I will oh, agree it's with. It's disgusting. So I. Rolled down the window, put my feet out the window. So if you pulled up on me, you would have seen a naked, basically naked Slim Killa in a spray painted retired police cruiser uh, with my feet out the window. And my feet were also eaten alive by mosquitoes. So <laughs> they were red and there was a your bunch whole, of- Your whole body's normal. It looked like feet. I was a, like coked out because there were so <laughs> many holes on my body. I think it's uh, like skin marks or whatever. Yeah. And then I woke up the next morning. Thank God I bought the Danny Duncan mystery box. And I threw on the, the, the hoodie and the shirt that I got and went balling with my day. Best part about that story is the uh, mosquito bites. Yeah. <laughs> it lasted like two weeks because I was walking on it. My feet were so itchy. Feet are all sized Disgusting. Ah, uh, no, that sucked. Mm. That Speaking sucked. of uh, up in the size of things, uh, we're going to hit our, our little politics segment. You know, we try and keep... Uh, <laughs> try and that, keep was, <laughs> that was a great segue, Matt. <laughs> try and keep politics short for the most part. But we think it's important to just... Just stay in the know Stay about in the know. Things. Just what's going on in this world around us. So recently, uh, Congress, they had a spending proposal to put forward to the House. The first major issue here is that this bill cost 1.7 trillion dollars. At first, you're like, okay, they can just print that money. But then you realize that printing more money doesn't do anything. I'll show you guys. That's how big that number is. <laughs> 1.7 trillion dollars. That's okay. like 10 170 Whoa. billion dollar bills. Oh, that is huge, okay? <laughs> First off, we don't have $1.7 trillion. And the best part is that I don't think people will remember is that the government doesn't make money, okay? <laughs> we pay the government, okay? They vote on bills and we fund their bills through our tax dollars. Yeah. <laughs> you know how long it's gonna take for us to pay them $1.7 trillion? 
long. A long <laughs> time. The other issue is they just submitted it at 1.30 in the morning a couple nights ago, and it's 4,100 pages long. 4,100 pages long. First of all, it takes me a long time to read four pages. <laughs> 41 there, pages there's nothing wrong takes with that. me a night. It takes me a night to read 41 pages. Yep. It would take a thousand individuals, no, a yes. hundred individuals to no. read oh, yeah. 4,100. Yeah. It would take a hundred of those individuals to each spend one of their nights to read 4,100 pages. And the best part is we're still the ones paying those people <laughs> to read the bill that they came out with. All right, makes no sense. Um, Just like this bill, this bill is going to take sense, if anything. <laughs> on, on the contrary to what I've been saying, making it sound all bad, uh, I'm sure this bill has a ton of aid and relief and mm. money going to a lot of really good places that could really use it. I think... It's honestly like funny to think it's about like, the size of it. It's just entertaining the idea like how money works. But, like. <laughs> but I mean, regardless of where you see this bill, I think that the, it can do a lot of good, yeah. but it also can do a lot of bad. So I think it's, it's just a very, you know, you're, it's, it's a black or white topic. Like, do you, is it, are you for funding these programs in these countries or are you for, for saving U.S. dollars and saving the U.S. economy? But that's just our little political <laughs> update. <laughs> So something that both Matt and I have, uh, have noticed, uh, you know, on the Slim Killer YouTube channel, our demographics run between eight and 28 year olds, which mm. means that we have a solid amount of young people watching. We need to, we need to provide the youth with, uh, with knowledge and- Advice? Advice, exactly. Matt and I have a very serious topic that we want to talk about, and that's childhood vapism. <laughs> <laughs> Molly, we gotta get you out of here, Matt. <laughs> And that's childhood vapism. Mm. Matt has a 10 step program to stop childhood vapism. Matt, take it away with step number one. All right, so you know, I've thought long and hard about this and I, I really think, you know, step one has gotta be mandate that all vapes be flavored broccoli. All right, we're not talking broccoli with whatever else you put on your broccoli. Wow. We're talking strict, we're, I'd even go There's as far still to say dirt on the organic, broccoli. uncooked broccoli. <sighs> shivers. Okay. Gave me shivers. Awful. Now, step one's main goal is to weed out all new incoming vapors. Yeah. Okay. Vapists. Vapists. All right. We we're not solving the problem, but we're definitely gonna we're gonna cut it off at the tail. All yes. right. Nothing's adding to our problem. Step two. Now, this is a very serious one. Hmm. Bring back child labor laws. And what you do with them, because we already have them, so we're bringing them back. We're bring, <laughs> we already have them. So we're bringing them back so that we can reform them and destroy them, eliminate them. Okay, now we're not talking about exploiting children for their labor here. Some of us aren't. I am saying. <laughs> I, I, I believe in like a, a, um, a systemic cleansing mm. of all vaping. So if a kid gets caught vaping, like you like prison camp prison camps exactly <laughs> and the way that they work off their prison sentence is through doing good deeds for old people only issue there is that our, our old folk they tend to smoke cigarettes are we just going to change the addiction from these vapors vas vapisms over to the cigarettes i heard the cigarettes are better for you so i mean at it's least a very we can start debatable to... topic <laughs> all right jumping forward i think we're on to step eight mm. Now, step eight gets challenging, okay? First off, we're gonna have to invest in uh, <laughs> giant magnets, okay? We're talking plane-sized magnets, all right? <laughs> and these things are gonna be industrial strength. We are then gonna fly these planes, with, with the magnets under the planes with the, with the plane on top. We're gonna fly it oh, <laughs> at, at low altitude. We're talking 50 feet above, above the, the ground, all right? And we're gonna fly it over these schools, all right? And this magnet is gonna be so strong, it's gonna rip those vapes right out of the public bathrooms, straight up to the plane, where they'll be stuck to the plane, and they can fly through, they can hit maybe 20 cities a day. And this is actually where step nine comes in. There are gonna be some, you know, obviously there's no magnet strong enough to get every single vape. So what we're also gonna do is we're gonna invest in bodyguards that protect the bathrooms. And what they do is the bodyguard will take a person, they have to be a strong bodyguard, mm. they'll take the kids <laughs> and shake them really hard. <laughs> From their feet. And comically, the babes will fall out of them like coins. And then that's when the plane comes by. 
And this leads us straight to step 10. We're talking those kids that can't put that vape down. We're talking those kids that held onto that vape all the way up to the plane. We're gonna take these kids to what we're gonna call the US Vape Gulag. Now what's gonna happen the in the US VG, Vape baby. Gulag? Yeah, the US VG, all right? Now what's gonna happen in the US VG? Most people would think, let's have them fight to the death, the winner gets whatever they want, right? But all no. All the vapes, yeah. No. We are gonna let them live out their days. <sighs> And we're actually going to drop off all of the magnetic, the, the, the vase we've, you know, stuck to the planes. We're going to drop them all off on the island. And we're going to see who lives the longest. We're going to have them uh, compete in mm. ropes courses daily to see which ones will, uh, you know, won't make it. And that catch our drift. is our 10-step plan to end child vapism. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys, uh, we want to thank you for tuning in to our first episode back. This is like chapter four or five. You know, it's like Fortnite. How are you supposed to know anymore? But uh, and we're still pretty rough. All right. We're not where yeah. we need to be yet, but we're just getting back into it. And we promise we'll get better. Yeah. But thanks for hanging with us for today's episode. We appreciate you tuning in and we plan on making this a weekly occurrence. So. Yeah. They're going to be short, though. We're not talking out. I mean, we were just talking about how we listen to podcasts. And personally, I'm skipping through podcasts to find you know, parts I want to watch. So we're trying to make these short, great, for your, things, yeah. great for your commute to work. If you're driving to school, you know, you're on a lunch break or whatever, just pop one of these on hoping to be just good food for thought and uh, some good laughs, laughs, whatever else we can provide for you guys. Yeah. Thanks you guys. Slim killer. Maddie J. Logging out. Logging out. <laughs> <laughs> it's a work in progress, Molly. Oh, I forgot that part. Is this thing even on? I want to thank you guys for watching our, all of our episode all the way until the end. Thank you for staying here. Uh, if you're looking for a longer little cut of this video, uh, link in the description. I'll take you to our Spotify account. If you're looking for another video, uh, we've got our Monday upload right here. And then, you know, if you liked our content, maybe think about hitting that subscribe button. We're trying to hit 100,000 subscribers, so, you know, any bit helps. Thanks, you guys.